I watch the liberal media so that you don't have to, and I just started seeing this classic scheme of a television commercial pop up on several cable supposed news networks that I haven't seen since the 2008 financial crisis because a lot of people started becoming interested in gold, obviously, and now we're experiencing uh, probably hyperinflation soon, an inflation crisis. And so a lot of people are interested in buying gold again as an inflation hedge or a store of value. So it is absolutely pathetic that the cable news networks would air this, in my opinion, I have to be careful with my language because whenever you start interfering with some scheme, in my opinion, some money-making uh, operation that is shady as hell, then you can get sued, especially when you're high profile as me. And this is one of the worst I've ever seen. Hopefully, none of my audience may fall for this, but this shows how pathetic the cable news networks are because many senior citizens watch the cable news networks. And, you know, your average American is a moron. And so they're selling these garbage gold-plated coins and we're going to get into how much gold is in these things and they don't even use the word gold-plated they use the deceptive term gold-clad which nobody knows what that means but just watch this garbage commercial from msnbc and i've seen it on other networks i'm sure it's airing on cnn i don't know if it's airing on fox again um, but I, I know that I've seen it before and I meant to, to record it. I just got this video from CNBC, the financial news network. Again, a bunch of suckers usually watching. It's, it's the Jerry Springer network of finance, basically a garbage network, but just watch this. This $50 Buffalo gold piece was the purest gold coin ever struck by the U S government. It was the first U S coin ever struck using 0.9999. That's four nines, fewer 24 karat gold. Neat. Its design was based on the famous Buffalo nickel of 1913 to 38. <laughs> Wildly popular with investors and collectors, the U.S. government had to stop production because of a shortage of specially made gold blanks. Wow. It's no wonder the price of that edition has gone through the roof. Mm. Now you can reserve your own tribute to the $50 gold buffalo clad in 14 milligrams of 24 karat gold. Nas 14 milligrams of gold. Uh, just keep that number in mind. We'll, we'll look up how much gold that actually is in a moment. National Collectors Mint's private non-monetary minting recreates private non-monetary minting so of course it's not actually currency and it's clad it's not gold plated the fact that the federal trade commission even allows such deceptive advertising is shameful and the fact that cnbc would air this is almost as shameful maybe even more shameful it's james earl frazier's american buffalo against a mirror-like background on one side and his iconic native american indian head it stands out in great. stunning relief on the other the final issue price was to be set at 50 dollars per proof but during our special release this 24 karat gold clad masterpiece can be yours for only 9.95 wow. with gold prices up almost 500 percent since 2002 price can only be guaranteed for seven days oh only one week to buy your garbage gold coin for ten dollars before the price skyrockets each new 2023 50 dollar gold buffalo tribute proof order comes individually <laughs> numbered with a certificate a of certificate. authenticity it's authentic it's an authentic piece of garbage a real gold buffalo or any one ounce gold coin would cost you around two thousand dollars and again they said that that had 14 milligrams of gold Let's do some math and find out how many milligrams are actually in a one ounce gold coin, which is a troy ounce, just different than an ounce that is used to, to determine the weight of food. A troy ounce. So again, that beautiful limited edition special collector's item has 14 milligrams of gold. <laughs> okay, so there are 31,000 milligrams in one troy ounce. 31 thousand milligrams in one ounce or you can get your 12 milligrams in your collector's item coin i'm not a math person so feel free to correct me in the comments if i'm wrong but i think if you divide the 31,000 milligrams which is one troy ounce of gold by the 14 milligrams in each one of these gold clad beauties it would take you 2,221 coins 
to accumulate an ounce of gold. <laughs> the face of CNBC, again, the big financial news network, uh, is Jim Cramer, who is like an astrologer picking stocks, who is virtually wrong about everything. Here he is endorsing Elizabeth Holmes, who was just found guilty of uh, numerous counts of fraud for her garbage, fake, blood analyzing device from her company, Theranos. Just one last question. Uh, to me, it, it, it's reasonable to compare you, I usually don't do this, to Steve Jobs and what he did for computing. Uh, <laughs> yes, the man who changed multiple industries, personal computing, the music industry, and the cell phone industry. Uh, yes, he's comparable to this creepy psycho woman who created a fake device that was supposed to revolutionize blood work. This is the same clown who told his viewers not to sell their Bear Stern stock immediately before the firm collapsed in 2008. Peter writes, should I be worried about Bear Stearns in terms of liquidity and get my money out of there? No, no, no. Bear Stearns is fine. Do not take your money out. This is really, look, if there's one takeaway other than a plus 400 somebody, Bear Stearns is not in trouble. I mean, if anything, they're more likely to be taken over. Don't move your money from Bear. That's just being silly. Being silly. He, he wanted to move his money out first before the stock completely tanked and went to zero. Sadly, many popular YouTube channels also shill garbage products to their gullible viewers, just like the cable news channels do. Right, Ben? We'll get to more on this in just one second. First, folks, do you feel like you ever don't get the respect you deserve? Well, there's one way you can get that respect oh. right quick, and that is established titles. Established titles is your opportunity to earn the title of laird or lady and gain the respect you deserve. All you need is one square foot plot of land in Scotland. Established titles is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. In your title pack, you will be stowed with at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland, plus an official certificate with the crest. Your certificate features a unique plot number with which you can see the exact location oh. of your land. <laughs> this is a 90 second ad read, as we say in the business, for what has become one of the most infinitely terrible products that many YouTubers pitch to their gullible audiences that then made headlines. Some YouTube creators are dropping their sponsorships with established titles after the company is accused of being a scam. But Ben Shapiro said that that was the only way I could get respect. I don't promote garbage products, no matter how much some fly-by-night company pays me. I will, however, promote quality books that I personally have read and found extremely valuable. Pun intended. Like the little book of common sense investing by John Bogle, who is the man who created the index fund, which is sort of like a mutual fund. If you're not familiar with index funds, that's all the more reason to buy and read the book. Link in the description below. One of my favorite books aside from that, which is a little bit more in depth, is Tony Robbins' book, Money Master the Game and Seven Simple Steps to Financial Freedom. He interviews a bunch of the top financial investors, and there's so many idiots out there, schemers, peddling books about how to supposedly get rich quick. You're only going to get poor quick. And these are the time-tested investment long-term strategies that have worked throughout the history of investing. So I, I'm not giving financial advice. I'm just recommending some quality books, especially since we may be coming into another financial crisis. If you're interested in that, and I don't know why you wouldn't be, I would highly recommend these two books for anyone linked up in the description below. So head on over to amazon.com or click the link in the description below and check them out.